And women in Nigeria's mining sector have called on government at all levels to collaborate in putting an end to gender-based violence and child labor practices affecting economic growth in the industry. They are also calling on the National Assembly to fast-track proposed reforms, including the creation of a solid mineral commission. TVC News senior correspondent Jokia Adisa reports. The mining sector in Nigeria, as in other countries, is male-dominated. This poses significant challenges for women in assessing opportunities and participating in the sector. Today, a patricist percent of women are in mining business in Nigeria. This annual conference organized by women in mining in Nigeria, women, is to draw public attention to efforts being made to better achieve inclusion and more women in the mining industry. Increased cases of rape and other forms of gender-based violence in the sector combine to hinder the woman, even as child exploitation has not abated. This is why the focus this year is on safeguarding the rights of women and children in Nigeria's solid mineral sector. We conducted in-depth research on the level of gender abuse and child abuse and solid mineral sector of Bauchi, Kodi, and Ophiti states. Our research includes numerous cases of abuse in the sector that urgently needs to be unveiled and addressed. It's an opportunity for experts to brainstorm and find a meeting point in efforts to put an end to these vices. Women participation in different parts of the world is significantly contributing to the growth along its supply chain. In Nigeria, women participation has also increased over the past years. We have um, the Department of Women and Children particularly dedicated to um, ensuring protection and enforcement of the rights of women and, and girls. We have also cultural limitations that most of the violators or most of the victims do not have the voice to speak out. They do not report. But we focus our research not only on the mining side, but the mining host communities. Among challenges identified as barriers to women's growth in mining are environmental degradation, limited access to finance, exclusion from decision-making processes, emotional trauma, safety risks, and lack of education and training. The two-day high-level national summit hopes to find lasting solutions to these challenges. Jokia Edsa, TVC News, Abuja.